Hi, just a quick video. Uh, on Virtual Man's uh, 1.9x, I got the Marquia to work with on my console. But I just noticed after we booted, the Nintendo DS do not show any uh, video. For example, if I go to any of my other one, it show uh, the box, I mean the mix art and then the video. Snap. They call this Snap in a folder called Snap. And it worked just fine okay and this one I'm not, I haven't completed yet because I added more games so they won't uh, I'm probably will be writing the formula so to help me create the game list quicker without how to edit it one by one but this one uh, it doesn't have any uh, video and not not because I don't have the folder or the snap or the box art it's just that uh, in virtual in this version uh, 1.9a uh, for some reason, it will copy the snap folder into the ROM uh, internal SD card. Okay, not the USB SD card, but the internal SD card. And uh, whenever that happened, the video will disappear. And it also create a game list dot XML. So it's reading off from that list instead of from the the hard drive, the USB hard drive. So I'm going to show you how to fix that because this happened to me quite a bit and I have to delete the, the one from uh, SD card and then uh, to get this uh, video to come back. So I'm, this, that's what this video is about and also I just want to show you that I did got the Turbo 16 back. Uh, it looked like you have to put the game uh, not in the Turbo 6, uh, not in the TG16 folder but in the PC engine folder. Same with this one. So if you're going to use his mapping, I did change it where it does stay. Previously, the old, the one, uh, I went and we did the 64 gig image. We burn it and do the whole thing, start from the beginning. And uh, Turbo 16, uh, in order for it to show up, you have to put the game inside the, the folder called PC uh, engine. But if you check, there's no PC engine here. Okay, so he mapped the Turbo 16 with PC Engine. So I went and combined the game together. So I have 392 game. Uh, same thing with uh, Turbo 16 CD, which is TG16 CD. That's how he named it for the Turbo 16. But you can't put the game in that folder. You have to put it in the PC Engine CD folder. Okay, so that's 493, 483. It's a complete list uh, with both of them combining together. Uh, this one, I got uh, all the video uh, working. So, as you can see, the video, the box, you know, the mix art, everything is there with both of them combining together. Okay, so they're all working nicely. Japanese and the English version. Okay, so this is the English version. This is the Japanese uh, Alien Crush. All right. And the same thing here, Japanese and English. So let me just demonstrate one of them real quick to show you that the I also got that the one on top working as well. So the air zonk is also have the Marquia artwork and the basil as well. So the basil came with his belt. This also came with his ROM folder. So you, know, you have to do is just go to all the all the ROM that you download from uh, Virtual Man. There's a folder called Wheel, W H E E L. In in that folder, it have all this Marquia. They actually call it the Wheel, and which is the title of the game. So you take all the title of the game, which is in the folder called Wheel, copy that to a folder. Uh, which is the home slash uh, pi marquia forward slash marquia forward slash and then you you whatever this is called so this is called PC engine and then forward slash and you drop all your game there okay so you don't want to call it turbo TG 16 because he he doesn't use TG 16 he use PC engine and PC Engine CD to do all the turbo for all the NES game. I mean not NES and NEC 
all the NEC gain. Okay. So yes, all the all the uh, artwork and all the game work are mine, and also the uh, the title mark here is also working. Let's go check out the bunk three. Now I wind up editing one by one. It took me a couple hours, maybe three to three hour more. Just go in one by one, you know, adding the, the the path for the for the box art, the snap, and the yeah the box art and snap and the wheel, I guess. So bunk is working as well. Now the Turbo C C D and uh, is a little bit is 400 game, 483. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and because there's more Japanese game than US. The US game it work, but the Japanese game for some reason when you put it in, it removes the snap, the box art. So all that information is gone. So I will have to go in and edit the gameless.xml one by one. So I'm going to create a formula where you just grab the ROM, drop it in, and will create the gameless for you. Bring that gameless, put it back, and then run the scraper, and you will get the this information. Okay. So I'm going to create a formula that does that because it's hard to create the the description because some of the description is three to four line. So I'm going to leave that out. So what I'm going to do is create the game list that will give you the box art, the animation, you know, the snap, the wheel, everything you need. And then you just run the scraper and then it will populate this. So that would be one of the projects that I'm thinking about doing. So if you haven't described, if you're interested in that, stay tuned on that because I know I, I always put new more game into the, what is given to me and especially with two terabyte you got plenty of space to put to do that but I just don't want to edit it one by one same thing with this one see all the artwork was there but for some reason the system just remove it so we're gonna go about we're gonna go and fix that and I'll show you how to do it so let's go to the computer and fix our uh, Nintendo DS and see why why is my game disappear you know it's supposed to have snap art it's supposed to have artwork and animation but it's not there okay i mean the whole thing is not there not just you know a couple of them you know that so the system actually did that the whole thing just disappeared all right let's go check that out okay we are here in the computer i have two ways of mapping it i have one which is mapped to the home which I was talking about how to fix, how to move your stuff to your marquee to the uh, for the to the home directory. So my home is mapped to Z, and this is Pi marquee two, and then marquee, and then you create a folder called RK, and you drop all your stuff here. Now RK, I recommend changing the size to all matching size. It look better that way. So for example, I'm not using the same size that I was telling you guys about before. I changed mine to, uh, to uh, 1920 by uh, 1080. So I decided to use a higher resolution, yeah, resolution instead of the, the smaller one that I suggest last time. But uh, this is, map to the the network so what you do is let me see maybe something wrong with my network because apparently that one just lost its connection yeah so let me go ahead and make sure my network is connected and then we will continue okay my network is back it was uh i didn't plug my my uh, network cable all the way in so that's the reason i'm having the problem okay so what we're gonna do is go to the main root prompt. If it's your first time logging in, it's gonna ask you to log in. 
So your login user ID will be Pi. Your your uh your password will be Raspberry or lowercase. Okay. So right here we got two two one and there's one's called combine. Uh, this is the combine you know, but this is the two you this is the two that you want to work with. So one is called the SD and one is the USB. Okay. So let me open both of them up so you can see. Uh, what's going on so let me take this one back to the usb one and we are looking at both of them side by side okay so one is the one is the usb which is your hard drive and one is the sd now i recommend using the hard drive because why is because it's easier for like for example i did something and i want to redo my image I could reburn my 64 gig image without worry about how to redo my data. Now for Markia, I did, I did make a backup copy. I copied my Markia out and that way I could transfer back to the 64 gig uh, SD card. So here's the problem with my Neo Geo, not Neo Geo, Nintendo DS. So let's look at it and see why my video is not showing up. So we're going to go to the end. Nintendo DS, and this is why. Okay, uh, you have to remove that in order for it to work. Now, the next question that I have for myself is, well, if I delete this, will I lose all my pitch? Will I lose my animation pictures? Okay, because this that's the actually physical file. So if you look over here at the snap, uh, your file is over here already. Okay, so if you want, you could play it safe. You could just cut it. And paste it. It's gonna say, "Do you want to overwrite it?" Because it never remove it. See, so if you say skip, there's nothing transfer over. So it's it's safe to delete it. Okay, but you still you still want to double check because I don't want to tell you that. Then later you say, "Well, Danny, I deleted it now. It's totally gone." Okay, so the file is there. Let's for example, let's look at it. Let's do N plus. See if the file is there. If you look at the size, uh, is 726, and this one is the same size, 726. So the physical file is there and it's working fine. So there's no issue with with those video. Okay, for some reason, uh, this program does that, and then it create a, a game list that everything in there doesn't have snap. So if you was to open it. You will find out that that there is no see there's wheel there's snap for some reason it's not showing up so so if, so anytime if, if you see if you see the the folder called snap all the snaps is gone for some strange reason so what I do is I just go ahead and delete it okay from the SD card, okay, the ROM SD. Now, same thing with the the my other one called the Sega Saturn. Now, that one I didn't really check, so I don't think I created any folder yet here yet because I haven't uh, I haven't really done anything with the with the Saturn yet because I'm still trying to figure it out which game work, which game does not work. So I didn't really do anything here. I don't think I have the game list set up yet. Okay. All right. But yeah, see, I'm trying to figure out which which one is missing the MP4 and I'm trying to download all the MP4 and transfer it into here. So I haven't really finished yet. I'm still working on it. So and here's all my wheel for Saturn. So yeah, I haven't really uh, finished with this one yet, but since I already have some here, I might as well just copy that and put it into my uh, my collection, mark here, and create a new folder and call S A T U R N. So I'll have all my uh, my list ready to go. Okay, so now you have to do is reboot your system again. And 
once the system is rebooted, uh, do the system reboot, and then uh, we're going to see if uh, if everything is good. Okay. All right. So we uh, already delete that folder. So let's see if Nintendo DS the video will come back. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the system, restart the system instead of just the emulator. And see if if uh, that will fix my Neo Geo. Uh, the the artwork and the video. Cause my artwork, my video, and my Marquia wasn't showing up at all. So. Gonna let it reboot it and we're gonna see if that fix. So that's how you normally that's how I fix the fix it because I just noticed that this version does that. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 it doesn't do that, but this is this is totally a different uh, game system now. Well not the different game system but different uh, different hardware is Raspberry Pi 4. So the way they set it up is a little bit different than previously, you know, set up. So that's why, I guess maybe that's why it's not compatible with the Pi 4 image, with Pi 3, Pi 3 image with Pi 4. But I think in the future, they probably will make it where it is compatible. I did, uh, his main title is is one nine two zero by ten eighty. So, but the the one the there's another one which is this one. The resolution wasn't the same same height. So I went and changed the height and the the width is, a, and so now this screen is always in a full screen because the picture wasn't a, a full screen picture. So that's the reason I was having the problem. With some of my uh, so most of them I, I did not change the size the only one that I changed the size the uh, for the mark here is the RK and then the, the system and then the publisher the folder in mark here so let's go ahead and look at Nintendo DS see if that's fixed now the video is showing up now so that's how you fix it okay now you might say well maybe because you changed the theme that's the reason now it's showing up so let me change it back the theme so that you see it's not because of the theme it's because the so we're going to change it back to street of rage uh, which is the wheel or Street of Rage Cool. Press B to get out. So you don't have to like go here and go out. You just select it and then press uh, B. It take a while. So now it's changing back. So press B. All right. So now we have this one before we reboot it. This is the one we were looking at a while ago. All right. And this is the one that that did not show Nintendo DS. So I just changed the theme back to show you that what we did actually fixed it. So let's go back to the Nintendo DS and press A. There you go. See? So it's not because the it's not because of the it's the new system that they created for some reason does that. I don't know why it does that. But it does that. So whenever you see a folder called snap or something, then the whole snap would not show up. Okay? So here's the mix art and there's the video. Here's the mix art, here's the video. So let's try to find Neo New Super Mario. That's my favorite game. Is it called New Super Mario? It should be called New Super Mario. There you go, New Super Mario. Okay, so a while ago when I was playing this game, I had no video. I still don't have no video. So that means there's something wrong with my video, so I need to go and check my game list. Maybe the way the file is laid, uh, it's not labeled correctly. So I don't have 
yeah, must be the file is not labeled correctly. So that we need to fix that. Yeah, so I don't think it's gonna have box art either. I think the file is labeled incorrectly. Yeah, this one do not have box art either. But it does work, but I just realized that this thing is not configured. It won't allow me to go to the setup. It doesn't matter what button I well I do I have I do have a lot of buttons. I was able to get into the setup, but I can't go up and down with the joystick. I don't know how he configured. I used the Xbox controller, I used the keyboard, I can't move. This is what I'm talking about, right here. I press one of my buttons, uh, it will take me here, okay? But I can't move the joystick. So if I go up and down with it, it doesn't work up and down. Now if I use the trackball, this thing works, but I don't have like a input button that I could pick. I cannot press the button. I only could press the, the button that's highlighted, but I cannot. So I need to figure out how am I going to get, uh, you know, to get here to change it. So how do I get out here? I just press a lot of different buttons <laughs> to get out here. There you go. Press the R button, but I can't see. I can't go up and down with it, so it's really weird. Uh, and press the keyboard escape. See if I can get out of here. Okay. But this but this game does uh does work. Was uh I don't know how he got it configured. It doesn't work on the main setup, but it does work on the game. All right, I'm gonna go to the computer and try to see if I can fix that, and we'll come back and we continue recording. Okay, we are back here on the computer. We did fix the snap, the wheel. So if we go back to, uh, let's go back to the main one again, the the SD card one. Uh, let's go ahead and open a, another one because I don't know which one is which you want to go to the one with IP address mapping so let's go back to the SD card so if you was to go back to Nintendo DS again this time uh, huh snap folder still show up that is so weird now it seems like there's more file there that is very weird that it does that I'm gonna delete that again because I know if I reboot it again, this is gonna disappear. This my my Neo Geo, <laughs> my Nintendo DS is gonna disappear again. Okay, all right. So this this is some bug on this build, uh, Virtual Man's uh, build. I don't know why it does that a lot. Now if you just reboot the emulator, it doesn't it doesn't change. The fix will still continue. But if you reboot it, I like, turn the power off, turn it back on your Nintendo DS will disappear again. Now, we're gonna go ahead and fix that one file issue because I like Super Mario and I don't know why my snap and my artwork is not there. So if you was to look at it, <coughs> new Super Mario is there, see that? Okay, so new Super Mario is there and let's go ahead and open up the notepad and I want to make sure that everything is spelled correctly so that is for the snap art and then we're gonna go and look at the box art and we're gonna put in new Super Mario right there and that is for the box art so that is the box art and this is the snap so both of them is there and then there's a mix art as well so mix art is the new super mario and this is the mix art 
and the last one is the wheel. Okay. Now all the name have to be the same in order for it to show up. Okay. So that's what we are doing is just to confirm to show you how this thing work. Also to show you uh, how to fix it. Okay. So we're going to go new Super Mario and this is the physical ROM inside the Nintendo DS. Okay. So if you look at it, exactly the same name. Okay. So everything here is the same. Ex this, this, you don't, this, this have to be different. Okay. Because those represent what this is, this, this file, this file is a video, this file is a pictures, and this file is the game uh, zip file of the ROM that inside contain uh, NDS. Okay. So all this is correct, but my game is not showing up. So next thing you want to do is you want to find the game list, which is this one. So we're going to open that up and find out what is wrong with it. So it must be something that I did, or, you know, so we're going to search for, uh, did I just did something wrong? You know, control. Let's do whatever I do undo. Okay. Undo control F and we are going to find this file. All right. We found it. Okay. We're going to close it. We found the Nintendo DS. Okay. And if you look, come over here, there's a mix on. And there is the wheel. And there is a snap. For some reason, it's not showing up. Hmm. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is. How come I cannot get to that file? Whoa, my system is all. Okay, I have this little formula that I created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that file name, the ROM. Okay. and it should automatically generate this for me okay so it generate all this for me and only thing i need is this three file so that's why it's, it's docker all right i'm going to copy those three in the future this program will generate all my game lists and i'll copy all this for my turbo uh pc engine cd so that way i don't i don't have to do this one by one so there's something wrong with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, remove those three files, because I think maybe there's too much space between here and here. Then that's I think that's the reason it's not working. So I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to move it up to where after the description. Okay. So I'm going to put it right here, and I'm just going to paste. All right. So three files paste it on top of the rating. So the box art and everything is there and the warm set is there, the description is there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that file. And then we are going back to the computer and we are going to reboot again because we changed something and we're gonna see if it actually work. So we're gonna go ahead, we can leave it open, all right. Okay, the Nintendo DS did not work, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing and delete it. I don't know why I have this thing right here on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the whole uh, Nintendo DS. Not Nintendo DS, but the new Super Mario. And I'm going to go ahead and use my formula. Okay. And just copy that whole thing there. Oh, it's not copying. Try again. Copy. And we're going to paste it. Okay. So now the game list. Need to push over for tab. Okay. 
So all line up correctly. So now only thing it doesn't have is the the full description. Okay. So what I could do is leave this off and let the system give me the description. All right. So everything is should be. So let's see if this my formula does work or not. Uh, everything should be spelled correctly. All right. Let's go ahead and save it again. And let's try it. See if it works. I finally got this new Super Mario, new Super Mario Brother working on Nintendo DS. Uh, it turned out I have to go into uh, Virtual Man have a folder called ROM underscore SD, and then they have he also had one called ROM underscore USB. USB is the hard drive. So you have to go to the ROM underscore SD and delete the Nintendo DS. Whatever's in there, delete it. Then you have to go to another one it's called uh, uh, ROM Combine by uh, scra Scraper only. In there, you also have Nintendo DS. Delete all that, okay? And when you reboot it, it's going to move all the game you delete into ROM underscore SD, which is internal. Then the Nintendo DS will not show up. Delete that whole folder again. Then reboot it. And then everything else will work again so it's crazy but yeah well I'm glad that this is a game that I like that did not show up so it gave me the opportunity to figure out why it's not showing up because everything is there is set up correctly but it's just not showing up okay so my formula does work uh, but it won't show any information so by using the scraper uh, the information is still not going to show up uh, apparently which you could add it yourself if you want you could put the player two player you know so oh well but anyway at least I don't have to I mean I could I could always put those information back if I wanted to I just have to copy from my old list and just paste it in here from the original uh, Nintendo DS that I got from Virtual Man just put that back in first I thought it was maybe because the way it was named that was not working is but it's not it's the game list is all correct it's just the uh, the Virtual Man's uh, some reason his image have is thinking that you want to delete the game so it's moving the game into the ROM underscore SD and then so then the video is not showing up and the artwork is not showing up and they also is also contained in uh, the combined folder so yeah we move both of them in order for this to work on the hard drive so all right so i'm glad that uh that is all figured out but yeah if you have problem like this it is crazy just you have to you only want only one ROM that you need is the ROM underscore USB everything else is is not necessary you could de make delete everything and leave Nintendo DS just empty empty same thing with the combine you can leave it empty okay but if you delete the combine then we boot it it's going to make this whole console disappear so then you gotta go back to ROM underscore Nintendo DS uh, yeah, ROM underscore SD. Go in there and look for Nintendo DS. Delete a, th everything in there. Then we boot it. Then, then, then everything should be back to normal. Like right here. Okay. So yeah. So hopefully this video helped you because uh, I could. It's very frustrating when you, you have you know you have the video, you know you have the game. It's like why suddenly everything is gone you know why is the video is gone you know why is the graphics gone so all right and then uh, if you was actually start the game uh, now my uh, Super Mario brother the Marquia also work now it wasn't working before so yep new Super Mario brother so Marquia is working as well. All right, and the game actually play. Uh, 
this game actually play without me have to configure anything straight from the box but when I try to go to the main screen the D the control d-pad won't work so and then when I plug in the Xbox it still doesn't work I use the keyboard arrow up and down still doesn't work so just FYI so oops when you press escape it get it, it exits out I forgot I want to exit out that video because that video is real real long that that video